Once, as Lugal Zagisi was burning down a temple, a dying priest uttered with his last ragged breath, The blood of the innocent will be paid for by the blood of the one. Not one to ignore a second prophecy. Sargon took the priest's words to heart when the reports of them reached his ears. They became a mantra that our soldiers echoed as we marched on Uruk. We knew that Ishtar would guide our way and grant us victory once more. It is time to end Lugal Zagisi's reign of terror and unite Mesopotamia. Uruk shall belong to a rightful king, not a corrupt desecrator of temples. Hey guys, how are you all doing? We are going to play the third mission of the Sargon of a Card campaign. And our main objective here is to kill Lugal Zagisi. Hiding deep within Uruk territory. Uh, we also have an achievement here. After some time, the purple guy Ur will try to construct a wonder and we have to destroyed before it goes up. It's pretty simple. Uh, we went straight for the wheel technology because it makes our villagers move faster. Even though we had to buy some food from the market in the beginning, it's worth it. I'm expecting uh, an early raid from Uruk around uh, I guess 10 minutes mark in game time we have to be prepared for that as well there are a lot of horse archers right outside your camp let's just try to lure them out Sargon is pretty tanky he can take the horse archers by himself, he wants to three of them. Not all of them, obviously. Okay, let's get some space here. We will be needing them later on in the game. This northern part of the base is. Quite exposed, we should wall it off. I may be aiming for uh, around 16, 15 to 16 villages on food. It should be enough. I think 15 should be enough. Since we have 75 pop minutes, we have to make sure that we have the optimum number of villages working on food, wood and gold. And stone as well for this scenario, stone is also important. That's how you hunt an AOE one. Hoplite should do well. Go all this off. What do we have here? A chariot maker that supplies Lugal Zagisi's army. Burn it all down. So there are four stables. Uh, if you look down in the mini map, there's a small circle at the southeastern part. That's where the chariot maker stables are. Even though Lugal Zagisi's army is not making any chariots, I think they intended to when they made the scenario. But I have not seen a single chariot being uh, recruited by the Lugal Zagisi army. So we have to destroy the four stables. That's the light quest. All this section off as well. 
and where the villagers uh, the villager is constructing a wall you should get a couple of towers because uh, the horse archers will attack from the west and that area is quite exposed they will easily kill villagers working on the farms so should get a couple of towers there as well if you don't take them out uh, early that is one horse archer is attacking the wall up there how many arrows does it take to break a wall? No, not in the game, in real life. Things I wonder during shower. We have spotted some outlying farms that provide food for our enemies. What shall we do, Sargon? Burn them down. Oh, Sargon wants to burn everything down, I guess. Uh, that's in line with all the religious... Um, leaders. Okay, so three watchtowers should be enough. Here comes Sir. Okay, I did not mean to. This is up lights are behind and archers, shadow archers are forward. This is bad. Yeah, that could have gone way better. Save that old guy. Yeah, that could have gone, but uh, you just had to keep the hoplites at the front and chariot archers at the back. That's... Whatever happened, there was exact opposite of that. I'm training a lot of priests because uh, Ur will recruit lots of elephants and priests just convert elephants like they're nothing. Please survey with counter elephants. Lead us, Sarko. Tell us where to strike, and we will send forth our army. That's I don't know what cut about it, but yeah, the first. Yeah, that's how easy it is to convert elephant. Even elephant arches. We only have two trees. Let's convert this archer before he dies. Okay. Converted at 1 HP. Never mind. Army 
An army of rams. How oh, quick. Who said that? It was in Joan of Arc campaign, I think. The third mission. I think I'm not sure. The tower is way too close for comfort. Take it down. Need gold. Stones who don't have the range right now. The haughty masters of Ur want to humiliate us with the construction of a monument. Apparently, we did not make it clear enough that we are at war. Yeah, they don't have the range. So we can send the defense with tank. I'll be destroy the town. So they just shop and look. But finding gold you need it. It's the tables here. So Ur has already started constructing his wonder and we should hurry to the Ur's place. All enemy stables are in ruins. Ugal Zagisi will have to do without chariots from now on. Six streets and this army is large enough. Take down or definitely. Converted in six three seven cooler. I must admit that your 
army is huge. I dread the number of graves that I will have to kill. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Just convert every elephant archer you can see. It's fine. They convert quite easy. in our town. We need your help, Salgorn. Don't unlock the catapult. a lot of horse archers of the way you can see the archery ranges there destroy them and they will stop producing horse archers if there are too many archery ranges there. Elephant archers are quite tanky and they do a lot of damage. So if your enemy is not making trees, uh, they are pretty good if your enemy is not making trees. the metals yes. get so much using I don't know if I'll be using I need more iron of any type to finish this mission Just destroy the farms. If you destroy the farms, uh, yellow will just delete its units and buildings there. That's convenient. Like that. You need to destroy two more sets of farms.
How many arches are there? Four sections. The farms, everything else will be taken care of. trying to get the side quest done of destroying farms otherwise we would have won by now Divine will is to let people starve. How benevolent. That's it. When we captured Lugal Zagisi, we did not kill him right away. Forcing him into a yoke like a common criminal, we paraded him all across Sargon's new kingdom. We took him as far as Lagash, within whose ruins the dying priest had pronounced his prophecy. The evil defiler looked old and frail as he knelt in the temple ruins for his execution. His death ended the age of kings that had guided the fortunes of Mesopotamia for centuries. Dear God. Now it was up to Sargon to shape his new empire, and it soon became apparent that he had ambitious plans. Plans that chilled my blood. Okay guys, that's it for this mission thanks for watching please like and subscribe and that's it have a nice day